Hello internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with another Tech Tip Tuesday video. I want to show you this model that we pulled off in an app, online app called Hover. And I want to put this into Chief Architect for context for a pool house we're going to be drawing out here. But I want to do, today's tip is going to be on automatic roofs. I'm going to try to do this 100% in automatic. So let's get started. As I said before, this is using the online app called Hover. You can download this app to your phone, whether iPhone or Android, and uh, take minimum of eight pictures. I would suggest on a project this size, you might have 12 plus pictures um, for the uh, app to, to properly get every, all of the data. But um, as you can see, it got enough data for what I needed, which is enough context um, to, to model up the house. And that's what the purpose of this is for. With this app, online in your hover account it will uh, you'll be able to get this three-dimensional uh, view that you can spin around and you can do some takeoffs some dimensions on this it will also send you a pdf with if i go to page five it'll send a footprint page 35 will send pictures all the pictures that you uploaded to it um, it will also send this uh, roof plan from which I can get some pitches uh, on here. So I have created a 3D model of the exterior and let's take a quick view of this. So I've got my, my uh, model first and second floor shaped up here. And what I'm going to do is, and so what I'm going to do is first of all set the pitches correctly i'm going to double click on the roof tool the main pitch as you can see from this i'm going to go with the 14s and notice the side to side pitches left to right are all 14. here here this says 13 but i'm going to say it go with the 14. front to back are 10 pitch the only change is this one right here, the four. I'm also going to take note of all of the um, gables. So this wall, one, two, three, four, five, six gables here. And I'll need to address that um, in my model. So by default the build roof is going to be 14 pitch you, i could go the 10 pitch and adjust the walls differently but you'll see my process i'm going to go with the 14. i'm going to do 16 12 or uh, 16 inch uh, overhangs on the eaves and gables that'll allot for the four inches of brick and then a 12 inch overhang there i'm going to go into options and make sure boxed eave is checked that's fine i'm also going to do a freeze I'm going to add a new freeze, and I've got a 1x8 trim already in my um, already in my library. And I'm going to have this freeze on both eaves and gables. That is correct. Next, I'm going to select the walls that are all gables. And so I'm going to click on my wall tool and shift select each of these walls that are gables. So notice I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six walls here that are gables. And right down here in my child tool is the gable tool. You can click on this or you can open each of these walls and click on roof and full gable wall. That's what this tool right down here does. I'm going to click on that and open them. Go to roof and notice it's been changed to gable. I hit escape earlier so I could click on the gable tool down here. Okay. Next, I'm going to do all of the 
So the um, side to sides are 14. It's the front to backs are 10. Okay. So that's 10, 10. Now this is a little different. This one here. Okay, so this and this are a first floor wall. This one's a first floor wall, and that's a four. The rest are second floor walls. So I'm going to select this one and this one and double click. I selected the rear one, shift and hold shift, and double clicked on the front one. So that's opening both walls. Roof, I'm going to change this to 10 inch pitch. This roof, I'm going to change to four. And I'm going to go up to second story. Oh, you know what? All those walls down here, all of the walls down here that I selected aren't the proper walls to do the um, gables on. So I need to do this one, this one, and this one as a gable wall. And then. This one, this one, this one, these three, and this one, this one, and this one. No, not this one. So I'm going to control click to deselect that one. These are the, um, I'm going to do an open roof and change those to 10 inch pitch. I think I'm set. So let's uh, build roof. Uh, with the roof with the A's, doesn't matter. Uh, just click it once, and then I'm going to build the roofs here. I'm going to make sure I've got no trusses. Structure is 16 inch on center with 2 by 10 rafters. I'm assuming that's pretty close. And let's take a view of this. All right, not too bad for the first try. I got the 412 pitch correct there. These are 10, 10, 10, and then 14s here and here. Um, so I notice a couple things. One is I've got to raise this roof because um, let's go to this. You'll notice this is actually up higher than the than like a first floor level. And the roof comes up onto the, the second floor roof there. So, uh, and then on this side, over here, this garage roof is coplanar with the second floor roof. So, let's do this. Since this is, I'm really just doing the shell and just doing this as a context thing. I'm going to draw a wall across here and set this room at 144 inches, 12 foot. That works. And then I'm going to take a section through back here. And I want to see the vertical distance between this roof and this roof right here. So. I'm going to draw a temporary line from the underside of this uh, sheathing straight down to the bottom of this sheathing. And as I do this, um, you'll notice right down here as I, as I uh, drag that line, it will tell me how long this line is. So 4 foot 10. Whoops, there we go. Four, there we go. Four foot ten and seven sixteenths. That's how much I need to raise that. In order to do that, though, I'm going to. So I'm going to turn on my reference layers here from the floor above and draw a. Draw a wall outlining that. Because what I'm trying to not have happen, what I'm going to do is raise this floor, 
this room ceiling, that four foot ten and seven sixteenths, but not this floor, not this ceiling, because this ceiling here is actually the floor of second floor. And if I raise this ceiling four foot ten and seven sixteenths, it's going to raise the whole floor of second floor, and I don't want that to happen because of windows and uh, such as that. So I'm just uh, uh, shaping out a different room here. From here, I'm going to open that room and go into my structure tab. And in my ceiling height, I'm going to add plus four foot ten seven sixteenths. We'll go back and build our roof planes. Uh, let me double check. We've got this room at 144 inches, 12 feet, that's fine. Build roof planes, build roof planes, check box and click OK. Roof surfaces you edited and changed will be deleted. For now I'm going to be OK. And let's take an overview of this. So I still have two separate roof planes here, but they are coplanar. Looking good on this side here. I've got the 412, the 1012 on all the back planes. If I want to combine these two, I certainly can. I will have to raise this uh, to be on the second floor, this roof plane here. I can uh, display on the floor above here using this child tool. And let's select the two roof planes and do a union. Would you like to delete the original objects? Yes. And there I've got one roof plane now. I thought I did. I said delete the original objects. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. One roof plane and uh, that is automatic roofs. So Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video today. I hope you've learned something. If you have, click that like and subscribe button right down there. I'm going to link some videos uh, to other Tech Tip Tuesday uh, projects, as well as some other Chief Architect users. Check them out. This side or this side. Anyway, um, take care. Have a wonderful week.